Villarreal vs. Real Madrid. The end of the season is near, with only two matches remaining that Real Madrid will use as training before the Champions League final in London. Let's listen to Carlo Ancelotti's press conference. Tomorrow, Real Madrid will play against Villarreal, a competitive team that aspires to enter European tournaments. What do you expect for tomorrow's match? This match is a training match to prepare us for the final on June 1st. So for tomorrow's match, the whole team is traveling, and we consider this match important to maintain competitive rhythm, good attitude and dynamics. We know that for Villarreal, this match means a lot. But for us, the goal is to maintain the good rhythm we have had lately. Some time ago, you said a phrase that goes something like this. When I can tell the truth, I do. But when I can't, it's better to stay silent. This week, Zabi has had a lot of problems for being honest with the press, talking about Barcelona's poor financial situation, which didn't sit well with Barcelona's fans and management. Do you think that in clubs like Real Madrid or Barcelona, saying such things could lead to dismissal? Well, I don't want to comment on this. I think it's a complicated topic to give my opinion on. And the only thing I can say is that I have a lot of respect for Xavi as a person and as a coach as well. In my personal opinion, I think the work he has done since he arrived in Barcelona is good. And I wish him the best for the future. During these days off, your two goalkeepers, Lunin and Courtois, stayed working at the training grounds, helping each other to improve. Does this help you clear up any doubts you might have regarding the rest of the season? Or maybe the opposite? What do you think? Well, I have no doubts. I have no doubts about what we have to do until June 1st. My job until that date is to prepare the whole team, the players and the goalkeepers, to be in the best possible shape. After that, uh, my, my job is to try to, be, um, to make the best possible decision to try to win the match. But I have no doubts. We have had these days to rest, and now we have two weeks to bring the team to its best level to play the final. It's very difficult to imagine a Real Madrid without Luka Modric and Toni Kroos, but time passes for everyone. Now there is a lot of talk about the future of both in the club, and maybe in the coming days, we will know something about Modric, who seems to want to stay at the club. Do you have any new news about this? Are you optimistic and think they will both stay with the team? I am always optimistic, and what I think about this issue I've already told you before. All this talk right now is secondary to us and not important. We are totally focused on what we are doing and what we have to do, which includes the two matches we have to play in La Liga, and, um, and that's all. Everything we have to talk about the future, we'll leave it for after the final. I would like to ask you about Luka Modric's past. It seems that over time, he has taken on the role of a game-changer, contributing from the bench. How was the first quarter of the season? After the match against Atletico, he lost prominence. How was Modric's attitude? Was the personal relationship between you and Modric affected in any way? Did you two distance yourselves after that? No, I have never had a problem with Luka Modric because before he is a top-level player and one of the best midfielders in the world, he is a fantastic person. So with him, or him with me, there has never been a single problem. And we will never have a problem because we respect each other a lot. After the fantastic performance Courtois had in the last match, doesn't that take some weight off or relieve some stress for you regarding the goalkeeper debate for the final? Debate, for me, they're so seen. There's no debate at all, as I've said before and explained very well. 
The doubt is what you have. The reality is that Lunen has had a fantastic season and has helped us a lot to reach the final. And Courtois is returning to be what he was before, the best goalkeeper in the world. Since the beginning of the season, you have always talked about the generational transition of the young players by the veterans, veterans like Cruz and Modric. Assuming they both stay with the team, this transition process remains incomplete. Do you see yourself capable of facing the same dilemma for another year? Well, so far it has been a smooth transition that continues during the next year. It will continue to be a smooth transition, or maybe not. But as I said before, we will talk about it later. But the transition will continue during the next year. The other day we could see that you and Tony talked when you took him off the field, something that might have been expected since the game was won for Neo. But how is Cruz about these things? Does he get angry if you don't play him on the field? Is he calm if you substitute him for another player? Well, Tony as a person, he is German. Like me, I also feel very German. I don't talk much and prefer to listen. Um, and Tony Cross is like that, although, of course, if he has to say something, he says it very clearly. He is also a person with few doubts. He is a very clear, honest, and sincere person. He has a profile of a kind of person that I like very much, and as I said before, I also feel German but everything else that makes me Italian. You have labeled tomorrow's match as training. Have you talked to your players so that they don't lose too much concentration? Maybe when you relax too much, you can suffer problems or even injuries. Maybe they have their thoughts only on the final. Is this something you have to work on with them? No, it's not like that. The best way to prepare for a match like the final is to play the previous matches at your maximum level. Uh, that's how we did it against Granada, and that's how we did it against Alaves. Of course, that's how we will do it for tomorrow's match. I have talked very little with them in the last matches. We have scored nine goals and conceded zero, so I am thinking of talking to them even less because things are going well now. The other day, you said that Militao was not yet ready to be a starter if the final were to be played at that moment. Is it possible now that he will be a starter for the Champions League final? Based on what I've seen in the last matches, he, uh, if he is not at his 100% now, but he is very close to being so. He is very well, he has improved a lot, and he only needed to play, he has taken advantage of the minutes, and he will also play in tomorrow's match. And I see him close to reaching his best level, and that's why he is an option we are counting on to play the final. You told us that Lunin would play one match, and Courtois the other of the two remaining in La Liga. Can you tell us who will be the goalkeeper for the team tomorrow? Lunin will play tomorrow, yes.